It's Houston Sports Set back into the video today, and today the Buffalo Bills are signing veteran left or sorry, right tackle who's played left guard as well. He played well, he played left guard his first year in the NFL, so that that doesn't really matter. It does, I mean, just bringing that up, play left guard his first year in the NFL, 2015, 2016. He played just tackle, uh, but only played three games. But then 2017 through 2021, and then going to the 2022 season with Cincinnati, he has played right tackle. Yeah, yeah, the first two years playing left guard and just tackle, but then the rest of his career has been playing right tackle. Is joining the Buffalo Bills on a one-year contract. Leo Collins did not play at all in the 2023 season. Collins played 15 games with 15 starts with the Cincinnati Bengals in 2022, 12 games with 10 starts with the Cowboys in 2021. He did not play in the 2020 season and had some injury problems. 2019, 15 games, 15 starts with Dallas. 2018, played every game, 16 games, 16 starts. Same thing goes with 2017 with 16 games and 16 starts. Now, 2016 as well, had injury problems, only playing three games. And then 2015, I wouldn't say a lot of injury problems, but he did miss four games in 2015. He has definitely has been a decent, a really decent right tackle uh, for the Cowboys and the Bengals. Not as good as not not as good as for the Bengals as he was the the Cowboys, but was solid for the Bengals. And now I think he's a decent addition for the Buffalo Bills, especially after letting go of you know Stephon Diggs. And also you got Gabe Davis gone. This offense, this offensive line, I think is solid. But I think for Buffalo, with not the you know strongest wide receiver core for Josh Allen, we saw a glimpse of it last year. A lot of running the football, whether it was Josh Allen or it was James Cooks. I James Cook. I think both of those guys are going to be running the football a lot for the Buffalo Bills. I think they will trust guys like Curtis Samuel and Khalil Shakir and Dalton Kincaid and Dawson Knox, two tight ends and two wide receivers. But and, and maybe they draft a wide receiver as well in this in this year's draft. But at the same time, I think they will be running the football a lot because at the end of the year we did see. James Cook finishing the year off amazing, and Josh was running the ball really well. So I think they're going to be running the football a lot, and why not you know, improve this offensive line if you're going to be running the football a lot with Stefan Diggs and Gabe Davis gone? Let me know your thoughts on the signing in the comment section, and peace out.